This is a fire promo, dude. What? The drones! The Amazon drones, guys! This is nice. Some Paza? You guys wanna get some Pazaza? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, it's vegan. Oh my god, he's literally hitting the Gwitty in the bounce house? What's good, my boy? What's good, man? Chillin'? We're big chillin', man? Hey, I got some, I got some Pazaza if you want some, bro. Got that Pineapple Express, you know what I'm saying? How's it going, broski? Step broski here, and back with another vid. And boy, oh boy, did Fortnite drop a fat update on us today. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Nike update, since, you know, obviously I'm wearing the skin. Might as well talk about it right away. Uh, I did actually, you know, just get it. It did just drop as I logged on, actually. As I was going to start making this video, Fortnite actually just released the video for the new creative map that they had for it. And I actually tried punching in the code, and it didn't work. I favorited it, but I don't know if it's gonna pop up in my favorite list. I don't think it will because it, when I try to punch in the creator the creator code from the video uh, and you know I did it right as I was watching the video like right as they dropped it it actually said that it was like a private map still so I don't know if that they fixed that as of yet the video did just drop maybe like five minutes ago as I'm recording this so there is a creative map that's pretty much part of the update aside from that we get the new skins uh, you can check them out right here in the item shop you get like the nice little background which pretty much just reflects the Nike Air Max collab and you know the first part of the pack is just the skins as well as the back blings go ahead and inspect the items here you get the male skin which is actually pretty fire, dude. I love that bucket hat with the with the uh, shoelaces kind of coming down. Like, it's kind of his hair almost. And then the guy's just made completely out of Nike gear. Uh, so yeah, it's just a really clean skin. I love the, the mask as well. Like, the head just looks really good. Uh, color design is also very well balanced. Didn't even go back there. And then we got the reactive back bling, which is actually really, really nice. It's uh, these nice Nike shoe boxes, obviously. And then I guess as you get kills, they go up. And then probably after five kills, you, I, I think it uh, opens up like that <laughs> so yeah and it probably just stays up or maybe like after every kill it pops open you know kind of to celebrate the kill and then we get the female skin which is honestly my favorite uh it's the reason i bought the bundle just a really cool simple design which i love in skins it's literally all white with i guess just some red gloves and the nike uh, sneaks on the bottom uh very clean very very uh very nice uh the, <laughs> the only thing is like this jacket is massive man she looks like she has two caterpillars on her arms look at that but no still still a really good design i really like it and uh, she's got a back bling which is a boom box and i think she's actually the reaction Active one so when you're running and jumping she'll actually glow up well she'll glow like that with the colors uh, i think there's actually two versions of it like if you check out the edit styles you got reactivity without the colors then you can obviously have it just completely white turned off and then you can have it turned on with the colors which is the one i'm wearing right now next part of the uh, bundle you get the pickaxes which this is the male one you get the uh, water bottle everything's pretty much laced up looks pretty nice it looks pretty nice uh you get the female one which is like these floating shoes you know obviously they're just shoes uh and then more shoes as a glider which I, I really don't know what shoes those are. I'm not a huge sneaker guy. I really like this emote though, like keeping the shoe clean. Cause I've actually, I actually used to do this when I was uh, like in middle school and stuff. I would take an old toothbrush and I would just clean up my old shoes. So I'm sure we can all relate to like doing that once once in a while. Uh, but yeah, and then yeah, you need to show it off. It's a pretty nice looking shoe. Uh, but me personally, I, I'm, I almost like never wear Nikes. I've always just like, uh, been more of like an Adidas kind of guy. But yeah, and then you can also buy the other stuff like the glider and the pickaxes. Essentially, this bundle uh, gives you the loading screen as well as the spray and the emote. Which, uh, and then you also save some V-Bucks as opposed to just getting the items individually. Or you could just, you know, if you just want the pickaxe and the emote, you know, that would probably be, what is that? A thousand V-Bucks? So that's that. And then obviously the, the creative map, which I think the creative map is actually just like the Coachella event where it's just a place that you hang out. And maybe there's like some quick little mini games like Death Run and like Parkour and stuff, maybe like an aiming course or something. As for like the updates to Battle Royale, we actually have had a lot of changes as of today. So as you guys know, the new Relic boss has been added so he'll be wandering around at Rumble Ruins, and you can go ahead and uh, defeat him for the Kinetic Gauntlets, uh, as well as the Mythic MK that he drops. So the Kinetic Gauntlets being the new item, they have unlimited uses, which is actually really cool, and they work basically on a cooldown. So after you come out of the stealth, they go on a cooldown, uh, and the stealth only lasts like a certain amount of time, I believe. But you can just keep going stealth whenever you need to. And the way it works is you have to have the gauntlets equipped to be in stealth mode, and the way to cancel the stealth mode is to switch to another weapon or uh, certain actions. I think there's another action you can do, I don't remember it, but the easiest way would obviously be to just switch to a weapon because you'd want to like use it to sneak up on people and then pop them with a uh, shotgun usually. Uh, so now that this item is in the game, we're going to actually be seeing the thermal DMR get used more since it's like the most consistent way of like defending yourself against that. Thankfully, there's only one of them in the game 
You know what I mean? You could, the only way to get this is from the boss. So there's only one boss. There's only one pair. So only one person can have it in the whole game. Hey, it's actually, it's, it's like super, super good. It's not full invisibility. Like there's still a little bit of a glow. So if you're paying attention and you can like look closely enough and you might be able to detect it, just be on the lookout for that. That's how that works. If you ever pick it up, you know, now you know how it works and it's super good. I'm not sure how long the cooldown is. Uh, it's probably like a good, maybe 20 seconds. I feel like just because of how strong it is. Uh, they don't want you like spamming it like in the middle of a fight type of thing. It's probably it's more like a thing that you would use to either ensure escape or to like sneak up on opponents. And then uh, obviously, like I was saying, when you defeat the boss, he also drops the MK7 Alpha, the mythic version. So just a new mythic weapon that we have in the game. This game, this gun, I feel like is going to be really good because uh, a regular MK7 Alpha is already very accurate, especially if you understand the recoil of it. So uh, when you think about like how strong mythic weapons are in this game, I'm pretty sure that thing's going to have like no recoil and it's just going to be a straight laser. So that's another thing to be on the lookout for. If uh, somebody just starts lasering you with an MK, keep in mind that they defeated the relic boss and it's the mythic variant so they might also have oh sorry so they might also have the kinetic gauntlets next up in the update they actually added the flare gun back as a floor loot uh, as well as the augment variant which i'll talk about in a second but yeah that's just a another nice thing it actually works to counter the relic gauntlets as well because you can still technically tag players who are invisible i don't know if you get the full red but you know you mark them aside from that we could talk about the new augments that were added which are mud warrior as well as smg extended mag now mud warrior basically when you slide in the mud and you're covered in it you regen health and shield which is pretty nice i think it's up to like 150 basically like bush warrior and stuff but you just have to slide in the mud it's okay but you, when you think about the fact that you have to be within the pois to slide through the mud and if zone ever pulls out of the, the jungle biome then you're not really going to be getting any use out of it so just keep that in mind and then uh, one augment actually making a return is the trekker's armory which allows you to get both the shadow tracker pistol and the flare gun so that's another way you can get the flare gun as for some smaller changes both chicken and the sky jellyfish have been vaulted so you're no longer going to be able to get meat from chickens to heal and the sky jellies to heal so that's less healing in the game essentially i don't really like that to be honest like more healing in the game is always a better thing just because it promotes aggressiveness and less healing less shield is 100 percent gonna promote passive gameplay and that just Another part of the update is that the population of wolves and boars have been reduced, which I guess like, yeah, there kind of have been. One time I was just playing Team Rumble and I had three wolves just run up on me at the same time. It was crazy. And they follow you for a pretty long time, especially the raptors, man. The raptors will follow you for so long and they can break through builds constantly. Honestly, animals are not worth picking up even to just ride them because they can give away your position and stuff. And then last thing is the frequency of fishing spots has been reduced, which honestly, nobody really cares. Fishing has been so lackluster this season. Also, if you think about it, this just adds to the problem because fishing was one of the ways to like actually secure healing items such as like shield fish so now that we're gonna have less spots to fish from it's gonna be even harder especially with thermal fish taking up every single cooler like it makes no sense that this legendary item is more common than the rare shield fish now just a couple more things to wrap up the update before we jump into some games uh, rank reset season zero is now officially over this is now season one of rank it said in the patch notes that the rank that your rank rewards were gonna be reset but looking at it now it doesn't look like it is which i'm glad they didn't reset it it just would have been so such a bummer especially if like you were really close to unlocking the rank reward and then you just didn't get it me personally i haven't played rank at all i've played it like maybe the first two days and you know i'm just i was just really bad at building so i've gotten a little bit better maybe i'll jump back in uh, in the future but as of right now uh, i'm still like trying to improve on my skills so that's about it for the rank reset and then to wrap up this update like i said guys it's a really big update the bonus rewards have been released so if you go down here to the fourth page we can see the new edit styles which I am just blown away by these designs on all these super styles for all the characters. They just look so good. They flow really well on all of them. So far, the seasons like super level skins, these have been by far the best yet, in my opinion. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and like cycle through them real quick. You can check them out. Obviously you can load in the game. I think Lorenzo's is honestly the most fire one. Lorenzo and then Trace, they benefit the most from these super level skins, especially Trace with the way the energy flows to it. It's really cool. And then Lorenzo with the hair. Honestly, his hair looks really drippy, dude. And then we get the other ones these ones are probably my favorite these are the ones i'm going to be using a lot because i really like bright skins and then this one just looks is so clean the way that the colors change through so that one has three styles obviously relic has the two styles uh, and there's just so much customization as well with the skins this season it's really nice like how Rhea, rian can at least take off the jacket just to give you another little edit style for it and uh, Mari Posa, man, the uh, remixed OG skin that w I was kind of disappointed at first. Uh, I thought the Midnight version was the only good one, but now that we get the super level styles, man. Turned into one of my favorite skins, just like that. 
Here we go with the last one. The last one is obviously the best one. Look at the way that the camo just like constantly moves throughout the skin. Uh, Trace kind of got chipped here because he already has like the blue power, so the blue is already flowing through him. Rion's looks really good. The blue, the blue frosted tips. Really, like, he, he kind of already has like a blue skin, so this one doesn't look too good on him. Oh, but with the trench coat, yeah, that's actually really fire with the trench coat. I would say, and then the Mariposa version as well. And last but not least, the Lorenzo skin. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and jump into some games and have fun with the new update. Alright guys, as I was about to jump into a game, I actually decided to go ahead and check out if the Airphoria map had released yet, and it looks like it has. It doesn't say much, you know, just experience the ultimate Nike sneaker hunt, which I don't under really, really understand. Maybe that's just like one of the game modes. But you can see the new island code there. That's actually not the same island code that was shown in the video, so I don't know. Maybe there's like a different island as well. Uh, so anyways, let's just jump into it real quick, and then maybe I'll jump into one game of Battle Royale so that we can check out what's new. Whoa, they got a cutscene and everything. Sorry about the screen tearing, guys. My potato PC trying. This is a fire promo, dude. What? The drones! The Amazon drones, guys! Whoa, we got an airbender over here. Bro, imagine seeing your shoes fall into the sewer like that. They're donezo, man. You're, you're not getting those back. Collect the Air Max 97 Grail. Nice, I get it, I get it. I'm not much of a shoe collector myself, guys, but that's... Oh, that was the grill? Okay, nice. I understand, like, the culture. I was interested in it for a little bit, because, like, shoe reselling seemed kind of interesting to me, but I just couldn't really get into the whole hype of it. And then the actual selling portion of it, like, it's pretty sketchy, man. Oh, there's another. Oh, okay, okay. Are we supposed to do something here? What is this? Fill our canister? Uh-huh. Oh, snap. Where do we go this way? Well, let me follow this thing, actually. Maybe I should go this way. Whoa, this is actually pretty awesome. The clouds look kind of scuffed, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> These things are so blocky. Oh, we are supposed to go this way. Wow! This is impressive, dude. Epic Games, you have really outdone yourself with this map so far. This is nice. Some Paza? You guys want to get some Pazaza? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, it's vegan. Sheesh! You got like fully animated ads and stuff. The music is fire. Hopefully I don't get copyright strike. Oh, there's one little thing. What happens if I jump in this? Nothing. The shoes, you know, I'm, I'm made out of rubber, so you know, electricity pretty much can't affect me. Makes sense, you know, it's a canon event. I gotta stop making that joke, dude. It's gonna get overdone super quickly because of the... Oh, wow. What does that say? Soul food. Located in Air Max City. Wow, man, this detail to this is really cool. You got a little announcer talking to you and everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person who, like, really appreciates the attention to detail. I always look into, like, the little, little things. Huh. Oh, so we gotta go in here? Supply drop. No way, this is so cool. It's nighttime. It's pretty much like always nighttime or what? Oh, what? Oh. This is like a mini game already. They're, they're searching for us, I guess. Check out the shoe store. Swoosh. You can't go in there. This is like the future, guys. And, and like. 
10 years when augmented when everybody has augmented reality just chipped into their brain ah i got i got sent back we're gonna be able to like see holograms and stuff guys it's gonna be amazing Super OG market. You think they have Renegade Raider? Oh, I see, I see, I see. No, we got caught, man. That's actually really tricky. Nice, I'm hitting here. Wait for this one to go by. I'm nose. In here, in here, bounce house. No! Oh my goodness. Oh, it goes that way, nice. Turn on all the switches to open the secret door. Okay, thank goodness. When the lights turn red, emote. What if I just stay emoting? <laughs> oh, look at that, I'm cheating the system. Oh my god, he's literally hitting the Gwitty in the bounce house. He just good into the crater map. Guys, we didn't think about that. The Gwitty is too powerful. Oh, switches, switches, switches. Okay. Alright, and then just Gwitty to the next one. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you do it, guys. You just, you just Gwitty from one to the other. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. You know, I noticed they're, they're not even touching the shoes, bro. They just wear the shoes because they think they're nice. They don't even need them, bro. They're literally flying in the air. Here it is, here it is. There we go. Now we got that bad boy open. I don't even think we need to dance anymore. <laughs> I think I just... Whatever. What does that say? Lil Tilt? Nah, Lil Whip. Lil Whip or nobody. Okay, okay. Very nice office. No way, guys. We got the sussy Air Max Pulse. Oh no, dude. We gotta go through the sewers in our freaking brand new Nikes, dude. I literally just got these today. They got me going through the sewer in my brand new Nike Air Max skin. Oh my goodness, man. How could they? Hey, yo, Nintendo's gonna talk to you guys about that one. They're like, well, you put in pipes? <laughs> you guys are putting pipes underground that people can travel through? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, I'm kind of hungry after doing all that. Let me hit up the Pazaza. Let me hit up Pazaza and get a quick bite. Yep. R the rats, every rat's favorite snack. Because I'm a rat. Oh, here's the air canister, gotcha. Can I go now, or what? Reach the rooftop party? Oh, oh, look at that, check that out. I can see why they want the shoes now. They're literally used to like power technology. That's crazy. This way. Oh, this way. Fly through the air tube to Air Max City. Oh, it's right here. Thanks, man. Oh, that's Air Max City. We were just in like that little area. Yo, I'm stuck in the air. Okay, there we go. That's the headquarters. We gotta get there. Get our grail back. Dodge the drones, another dodge the drones, okay. Oh, this was probably longer. This is actually pretty tricky. Can I go up here? Nice. Oh, okay. Quick thinking. Nice little arcade place. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of there. Ooh. It's my cousin. What up, guys? 
Taking a bite. No! I can't go up that way though. I think I gotta like just. Oh, I just snuck through that. Okay, this way, this way. What is this? Collect the air mice at the top of the shoebox tower. Oh, it's just freaking time. Oh no. That's gonna cost me a second. It's okay, I play a lot of death run maps. I'm confident in my ability. Another 13 seconds. Add it to the clock. Let's go, let's go. Can't stop, both stop. Oh, I missed that. That was actually really bad. That's what I got. Nice. Time to reset, time to reset. Oh no! If I fall here, I'm pretty it's pretty much over. Right here. Go up. Ooh, where am I going? Right here. Nice! We got the grail. Now we just gotta take it. Let's go. See you later, bozos. Oh, we're going to the museum. Bro, that place looks sick. Okay, where do I go? It's right in front of me, what am I talking about? Just gotta go up these stairs. It's a shoebox, that's so cool. How do I get in? Let me in! Oh, I gotta... You gotta pay a shoe to get in here? Jesus, man, these guys are... I guess they choose shoes right for everything. Maybe they use shoes for, like, currency. What is this? Untilted airbags in 3D virtual sculpture. Wait, what is it called? Until Untitled. What am I even looking at right now? Man, that's some nice art. Look at this. It looks like real canvas and everything. I feel like I can go up and just touch that. That was really nice. Air collection. Back in the day, a team of innovators set out to make the invisible visible, and Nike Air Max was born. That what began as an airbag became a revolutionary idea, a pure element of mischief and experimental imagination, at, and the weird pursuit of what could be. Uh, that's like pretty ambiguous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's that sounded like a chat GBT. Uh, what do you call it? That's not like something ChatGPT would say. Uh, well, obviously, okay, let's just go through here. Yo! Okay, okay. Oh, where am I going? Where am I, t where am I being taken? Nice, there we go. Collect the Air Max 186 OG Big Bubble Grail. What the heck? This is bulls right here. That wasn't that hard. And, and it's like right here too. There you go. We're on top of the shoe. Pretty cool looking city too, man. They really like put a lot of attention to detail into this, into this map. You can tell was a lot, a lot of work up went into this. A lot of man hours. This is a great experience, man. So far, this has been like a uh, eight out of ten. The only thing holding it back is that it's kind of confusing at, at first. Oh, look at us! What's good, my boy? What's good, man? Chilling. We big chilling, man. Hey, I got some. I got some pizzazza if you want some, bro. Got that pineapple express. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna let you get back to it. I got stuff to do. Yo, what is that? Oh, it's a statue. That's beautiful. I don't want to leave. Another one. Oh, this, these are like the bottom of shoes, I think. Like when you turn the shoe upside down, it's the, uh, I don't know what you would call that. the bottom I guess hey yo that's my shoe hey hey that's mine 
Play monkey in the middle with some freaking bots. Freaking Chad GBT. In my shoe! Yo, you get that thing dirty. I'm knocking you all out. Bro, can you help me? Dude, they're bullying me. Freaking picking on me, man. They'll give me my shoe back. Oh, am I supposed to get the basketball for them? Maybe the basketball's because the basketball's stuck. Okay. Okay, this one ends up shooting it, so maybe I can grab it like that. Nice! Rejected! No, 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 not in my house! Air Max Scorpion Grail Collected. Bounce to the vault and return all five Air Max Grails? Oh, so we still have them. Nice. Never mind. I thought we were, like, giving them up. Music was top-notch. Music is 10 out of 10. Map design, 10 out of 10. Level design, say, like a, like a 9 out of 10. Woo! Open up! Oh, what's up? Do I gotta do this? Okay, yeah, fill our canister. We're unvaulting the ultimate grail. The grails have been returned! The Chaos Emeralds! <laughs> I'm about to go Super Sonic! The countdown to the ultimate sneaker drop has begun. Oh, oh, Nike, Nike hyping up a new shoe release through Fortnite. This is amazing. These are them. Got them. If you guys understand uh, from the Nike sneaker app, if you sign up for a shoe, there's like a chance that you'll get them and there's a chance that you won't, basically. And uh, when you do get them, you get that little uh, screen. You don't get the little dude, but you get the screen that says got him. Honestly, guys, I didn't expect the map to be that big. I was definitely not expecting it to be an actual like uh, an actual map that had levels and like objectives to complete. I was expecting like just an open world map, kind of like Coachella, where you just ran around and hung out with people, but you actually can get stuff done. It's pretty nice. It's pretty fun. And I definitely recommend you guys to try it out. If you uh, like go right here into the news tab, you see right here, welcome to Air For You, and you can literally just jump in right away. So yeah, definitely give, give this map a try, man. It was a lot of fun. And uh, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Catch another one, broskies.